What is going on YouTube? Head back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at the current coin market cap, as well as our previous discussions in yesterday's video in relevance to the trade possibilities that we have moving forward in today's market. Now, uh, we will specifically be looking at the cryptocurrencies. As we know, just yesterday, we were actually shooting up, I believe, over 20% on most of the cryptocurrencies, which is absolutely amazing. And we're kind of hitting a little rough patch right now, which really isn't that concerning to me. But I do want to discuss in depth as to where my worries are, where my confidence is, things like that. I know a bunch of you guys have questions. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe in this crazy market. Turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, help that YouTube algorithm. And remember to follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial. This way you guys can basically get an opportunity to talk to me one on one, discuss your findings in the market and, you know, everything under the sun. Um, otherwise, let's jump into today's episode. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm currently on my YouTube channel. And just in yesterday's video, we were discussing that the bulls are back. You can clearly see that the markets were actually up quite a bit, 20, 10 to 30%, honestly, on all the cryptocurrencies. And this was in reference to a pretty interesting channel that we were discussing in relevance to the strength and weaknesses in the market, its support and resistances. And if we were able to break through these, then we could ultimately start a potential bull run up to its middle moving average. So that is what I want to discuss in today's video. Um, once again, huge shout out to everybody supporting me on Patreon, who's taking the time to sign up. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone that is basically and for those that don't know, Patreon is a way for you guys to get access to my um, previous trades, all my trades happening, basically my thought process moving into the markets like this, what uh, what exactly I'm going to be doing, whether or not I'm shorting, buying long, selling, short, lever trading, all these questions are answered and you can only find them on my Patreon, not necessarily on YouTube. So definitely make sure to check that out. Once again, huge shout out. We just broke 60 patrons. I think we're almost at 65 now. And if you guys wanted to check it out, there is a link in the description to help support the channel. Otherwise, moving into today's video, jumping right into the the discussions you can see top 10 cryptos we are starting to slowly rally up which ultimately looks great uh, you can see the slow progress that we're having the slow correction to the upside that we're seeing looks like we're starting to cap out right now we look like we're starting to hit some sort of resistance some sort of stalling point which isn't necessarily a bad thing I mean as you guys know in a market like we're seeing today um, everything is all over the place. Everything is falling. Everything is uh, increasing. Everything is trading sideways. There's a ton of uncertainty and it's not just within cryptocurrency. It's basically within all markets all over. It's within everything. It's a very hectic, hectic, hectic uh, life that we're living right now. It's, it's crazy. Now, eventually it will blow over. We will get through it. But, you know, I'm trying to keep everything fairly normal for you guys to, you know, kind of take a break from the normal day to day life and kind of focus in on what you guys really enjoy, which is cryptocurrency trading. Now, I just want to give a huge shout out, a quick channel update. Um, to, so with all these implications that are happening, maybe I'll eventually I'll do a live stream fairly soon. But in reference to me going back to my apartment, I'm actually going to be leaving tomorrow on Saturday. I know I had told you guys I'm leaving Sunday, but it is going to be Saturday. So if you don't get a video out tomorrow, that is why. And I apologize in advance for that. But in reference to the markets moving right now, crazy stuff. I know a lot of people are trapped at home. A lot of people uh, have nothing better to do than to trade cryptocurrency, uh, which is fine. It's just like me. Um, and with that being said, we have to discuss what exactly is going on. So if you guys have had me on Patreon, you know that we did discuss potential plays in reference to the potential bull rally that we could experience if indeed we do decide to break through a very strong resistance. Now, when you just look at Bitcoin, you can see we're kind of capped out right now. I believe the $6,300 resistance is what we're kind of looking at. Yes, I did discuss this as the resistance to break, and we still have this candle still forming on the daily that has yet to close. And that may be a another reason to discuss whether or not we're going to be entering this bull market. So if we can close today above, you know, I'd say $6,300 is a good chance we should rally higher. Now, specifically, I did mention what, I, what I'm doing on my Patreon down below, but what's giving me concerns, and this is why I like to use other cryptocurrencies, is when you look at Litecoin and some of the other cryptos that have, uh, that are very relevant into Bitcoin's trading pattern, you can see that on Litecoin, we're once again also stuck below a resistance of $39. You can see we do have wicks that head up a little higher, but for the most part, as of right now, we are stuck below this previous resistance. So this is what I am assuming. 
if we manage and you can see in the past there's really no resistances in between the $39 and I would say $49 resistance there's a good chance if we can close above this resistance point right here on Litecoin we should be able to rally all the way up to this level with very little uh, problems in between that you can also see that we look like we're anticipating what appears to be a bullish cross on the MACD which is great to see you can see we have plenty of room on the um, relative strength indicators as well so with that being said, it makes sense almost that we could have the potential to head up higher. It's going to be crazy because in the markets like we're seeing, uh, the massive drop in the stock market, the massive drop in the cryptos, yes, we are looking for a bottom. But as we know, based on all the previous events, once we do bottom out, we always head back up with practically the same amount of volume that we came down with. So that's what we're looking at. If this is definitely the bottom and we break through this resistance here, we should be able to rally up to 50, if not $60 very quickly. The same thing goes with Bitcoin, it should rally us up all the way up to the resistance point at $7,900. This will be a great opportunity if indeed we close today's candle. So we are definitely in a very, 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 you know, time crunch, important day, an important time period where we're really focusing in on this market. Yes, we did profit off of this short if you guys were watching the channel and if you followed through. But for those of you that lost money or didn't make out on this, there is another one coming. This past week, we've just been discussing the fact that there is a lot of consolidation and the markets have been fairly stagnant and that we needed time for the movements to consolidate for us to basically depict a better understanding of what, you know, technical analysis what you know indicators are starting to appear and with that rose sideways consolidation very similar to what happened on litecoin before the rally downwards so with this happening once again on bitcoin it was with my great understanding that there was volume to come to the market very quickly this is that breakout that we had this may just be the beginning of the rally upwards we just merely need to see if we can close above i would say sixty three hundred dollars to be to be fair now to look at xrp and ethereum i know a lot of you guys are interested in XRP and come to the channel for XRP. I have no problems talking about this with you. Um, different than Litecoin, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. We're going to look at XRP on the weekly for right now. No real reason just yet to discuss the daily, but you know when you look at um, XRP, yes, we're in a very interesting spot. We do have a bearish cross on the MACD. We did bottom off the RSI, which gives me reason to believe we could be heading up. And if things do go according to plan, we should be bouncing off this bottom support right here. You can see if I just scroll out that even back in 2017, 2018, this was a resistance. You can see we have clear wicks above here, but for the most part, we close below it. Even back in 2019, where we had this retest, this was a very strong retestment where we ended up breaking below it. Just only now in 2020, were we able to build up the volume to break outside of the resistance where we ultimately all anticipated movements up to the 33 and in between the 78 cent um, support areas in between these moving averages. And unfortunately, we, we got rejected from this resistance, this green band right here, and we actually fell. So indeed, we did retest the 36 cents or 33 cent support resistance that we had there but we immediately corrected lower the great thing is we have yet to break below this resistance if indeed we do break below this there's a very good chance we'll be seeing some very 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 unfortunate um, all-time lows for xrp the great news is we haven't yet we've actually had some very strong wicks that are pulling us back up and with that being said there is a great chance that we could hold this support and actually correct back to some pretty nice levels on the coins so very interesting the way the markets are trading very interesting the way crypto is trading you can even see on ethereum right here that ethereum looks to be trading sideways it's also hitting its resistance this is a bullish signal right now um, we have a great cross on the rsi but we do have a strong resistance at 138 right here so if indeed we get enough volume into the market and we can break through here it'll be a very quick jump all the way up to 190 so there's a lot of things riding on this coin breaking bullish now um for those of you that are still waiting on my call Hold out just a little longer. You can put in a limit order closer to $63 to $6,500. I'll update you specifically on my Patreon very soon. Um, I think I even put one out this morning or yesterday. And then lastly, for Dudex, this is you know the websites that we use all the time. Now, this does not like to load for me specifically on Google Chrome. I notice it's not my Wi-Fi, just Chrome. I think I need to refresh the browser and then it will come back because I can do it on Safari, you know, no problem. But as of right now on Dudex, I am, we got rejected from what appears to be closer to $6,800 
$200. Absolutely wild that on Dudex we went this high. I believe we're going to go higher. You can see why we hit this resistance because I have drawn this support and resistance line right here in blue. And you can clearly see that we got rejected from here. But I do believe, given the opportunity of the market, we should be able to move up and retest that. So we will be buying long very soon, entering this limit order, and then obviously setting leverage trade. Uh, for those of you that are a little weary, I'd set a low leverage for right now. But um, otherwise, that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. Like I said, I am going back to college in the morning tomorrow, so I won't be able to make a video as early as I expected. But if one does come out, it will probably be later at night. And, um, you know, wish you guys the best. Stay strong this will pass. I know that um, at least my generation and I know a lot of other generations, we are a very um, closely knit uh, community all over the US. I mean, all over the world at this point. And things come on very quickly, very rapidly and very harsh, but they don't stay long. And that's a great thing and a bad thing. Um, a lot of, you could say influencers, a lot of people, uh, a lot of trends, a lot of you know, businesses, markets, products, services, they come on very quickly, very hard in our culture and they go away just as quickly. I mean, I could give you examples, silly bands, the Swagway uh, toys that people were riding around those two wheelers with speakers and lights. You know, we have this virus now, there's a couple of other topics we could get into, but you guys can see they come on very quickly and they go away just as quick. And we just have to stick together, you know, uh, distance ourselves, you know, listen to what people are saying. They know more than us, we don't study this. And eventually things will pass and things will be back to normal. And um, yeah, so wish you guys well. Definitely leave some comments down below. Love to hear your opinion. And I will see you in uh, the next video. Peace.